Hi, thought I would do a review of my Bushcraft Bug Out backpack. It is the 511 uh, Covert 18 backpack. They can kind of blend and look like a book bag, but still has a ton of pockets. I carry my wallet in this bag. Pockets. It also has, let's see, I'll just start going through what I have in here. Breakfast bar on top, just for now. I've got some uh, board. I've got some little towel pucks that you can use to either wash your hands or use to go to the bathroom. I've got a military compass. I've got my headlamp. Notice I keep a lot of the stuff that I would need immediately on an outer pocket. This is my, feels like, uh, fire kit. That's that pocket. Outer pocket here. I've got the straps for my hammock. I've got a uh, crank solar light that pops up. I showed this in one of my other videos. You can see the review on that. I think they're awesome. Um, I've got a Goal Zero solar panel charging kit, um, and that's got some the battery pack in there. Uh, so on a nice sunny day like this, I can charge up my stuff. Uh, this is the, what the heck is this, the Emberlite uh, fold-out stove, which I really dig because you can put any kind of pine cones and twigs in there and make a fire, or you can just use it as a windbreaker for using a little propane stove. I've got a uh, little hand fishing kit. I've got, this is one of those uh, mouth spreaders for the fish. I use that to clip onto my water bottle and I can hang it so I can boil water over the fire. I always get confused because there's all sorts of little pockets on the sides. Uh, let's see. A water bottle, a clean canteen stainless steel water bottle so I can boil water in it if I have to. Oh, here's another pocket. Uh, another little side pocket in here. I've got nothing, so I've got extra space. I should probably fill that with something just because I like stuff. So we'll try getting here into the main compartment. I've got, as you can see, my toilet paper, a bunch of Mountain House meals. Actually, a ton of Mountain House meals. I just kind of want to show how much you can put in here. My hammock. I've got a propane tank. I've got the Stanley uh, nesting cup inside here. I also keep my uh, propane stove, and i got a bandana down in there. So there's my cooking kit. Here's my first aid kit. I keep it in a clear bag so I can see stuff. Um, I've also got a sewing kit in there. Um, I've got an extra flashlight and then all your basic uh, first aid type stuff. Um, oh, I apologize. This is my hammock. This is a waterproof uh, coat that packs down. Didn't realize that I had both of those. Um, oh, there's more food. Uh, this is my bathroom kit. Um, soap, mirror, uh, you know, be able to clean yourself up. Uh, this is a metal windbreak that folds out uh, because like right now there's a pretty good breeze so if I started a fire I'd like to have a windbreak so that if I was actually cooking um, I don't have to be throwing twigs on there and burn too much fuel. I can just use the windbreak. Uh, I've got a fold out saw. I've got, please apologize, but I do have the Bear Grylls uh, survival knife with the flint. Um, this is actually pretty cool. It's got a sharpening stone behind there. I actually forgot my regular bushcrafting knife, which I normally carry on my hip, so I'm glad that I have an extra one in here. Plus, this is my car kit, so I've always got a knife uh, in the bag. Please don't make fun of me. I know it's kind of tacky because it's the Bear Grylls knife, but it works. Um, in here, you can see I've got another food bar, uh, my coffees, uh, my flavored waters to add to my water because if I pull some water out of the lake, it's still going to taste swampy even if I clean it. Um, let's see what I got back here. That's just an extra pocket. I don't have anything in there yet. Uh, let's see, up in this pocket, I've got more coffee, because you can never have too much coffee, some seasoning salts, um, and more coffee and more coffee. Um, I've got a nice long spoon, because if you actually have to stir down in a pot, I've got another video about that, but I like a nice long spoon, so you can actually get down in there. Um, what is this? 
that feels like the Sawyer Mini water filter, uh, which actually has a little fold-up water bottle and the filter itself and a straw. I've got another headlamp. This one is actually a hand crank. Uh, you can tell there's certain things that I think are irreplaceable, and if you only have one, you have none, so I try to have a couple. So I've got an extra headlamp in here. Um, another bandana because, again, you can always find uses for bandanas. Um, now this is where I get, oh, here we go. There's so many pockets I get lost sometimes. So back here, I've also got my, another part of my shelter is uh, I've got the tarp. You can tell I've already got some paracord on there so I can tie it off to the trees. I've got the one that has the reflective inside so that if I make a fire and I make a, a little lean-to shelter, this will reflect the heat back on my body. I actually can use this too. If I run a ridge line with that cord I have, I can put this over the top of my hammock and I have um, a place to, so I can keep myself dry. And that stuff's back in here. I also have a bungee cord so I can strap it off to a tree. And I've got some lightweight, those titanium tent stakes uh, to put my plow shelter into the ground. And I think my total weight is probably about 35 pounds when it's loaded up with what I've got. Very comfortable. I hike in it every week. Uh, I use it as part of my conditioning. I think it's a great bag. I like that it blends because I work down in the city. So if I had to walk out from the city for some reason, it doesn't look like I'm carrying some army backpack. But you can tell I've got enough food in here. I'm pretty sure I could probably get through probably a week's worth of food. Um, and I can hoof it and I got shelter and all my basic needs met. Thanks for watching.